I am here. Did you think I was gone? I am. 499 of you. Good morning or good evening if you're in Australia or Indiana as Catherine is. Hello. Hope you're all well. Good morning in Germany and California. California? What time is it in California? Like two, half two? People that can't really hear me over the grinder. Mm. Ah. It's rainy here in Scotland as always. It barely stopped raining for the last two months. Hi in Turkey. How's the signal for everybody? All 907 of you. Hi, Karen. Hello, Brandon. Morning in Pennsylvania, where Steve Wonderlich's from. Anybody watch Steve? Hello in Denmark, Madisonville. Hello in, well, not Denmark, Madisonville, but Madisonville. My daughter's called Madison. Craig's really noisy, I'm sorry about that. If any of you guys bought a hair t-shirt, by the way, uh, they arrive in Scotland today or tomorrow. So yes, Amy, you're right, Steve Wonderlich is a trip. Hey, Kevin, hi, Angie, Aruba girl. Aruba, does that mean you're in Aruba? I'm quite jealous if you are. No, no ear protection. It's too dangerous to wear ear protection because then you can't hear the problems going on around about you and your spatial awareness completely disappears. Where's Kev? He's the best. Kev is on holiday. I didn't see the name of that person, but it was Kev that asked that. Hi, Ashley Louise in North East Scotland. Whereabouts in North East Scotland?
so I'll pre-warn you. Things can and do go wrong at this farm. These cows are slightly, they have attitude problems. Let's just put it that way. Um, so yeah, some of them not so uh, placid. So if things go wrong, bear with me, close your eyes and just avert your eyes from the screen for five minutes. I know you're a little bit further away just now and can't see uh, the, uh, what's the word? The action properly, but I will move you in in just a, a minute or two. It's just where you are right now is, uh, you're, you're nice and wedged into a little gate that's behind you right now. Barefoot equine hoof trimmer, West Coast, US here. Take a horse, I'm very jealous that you're living on the West Coast of the US. Um, I love Scotland, but I would like a second home. Craig is so noisy. Craig, the people don't want the noise. I can't tell the cows to stop kicking. He's actually not very far away. It's just very, very small. Aloha in Hawaii. This is dope. This is the first for me. Well, I'll share the love in Canada. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> 1,237 of you guys right now. Um, don't send uh, those, I don't know what they're called, those money things, because I'll miss them and then I'll feel really bad. So, hi from Sydney. Molly, believe it or not, Sydney is our biggest demographic. So the most concentrated people who watch Hoof GP is Sydney. So a trip to Sydney needs to happen.
So we're coming to the States in uh, October. Only trouble is we've no idea where we're coming to in the States. So don't worry, Canada and Australia are on the list. But give me a suggestion where we should come to in America. Um, we want a bit of a holiday, we want to see a bit of things, we want to see some cows, um, we want to see a lot of you guys. So yeah, give me an idea. Uh, the efficiency is crazy. Yeah, it's quite slick, isn't it? A lot of people say, why? Can you guys hear me when he's grinding? Can you let me know if you can or not? But a lot of people say, why don't we wash all the feet? But we want the cows in and out of the crush as quickly as we can because it keeps them calm. Plus, like, it doesn't make any difference. You can hear me, cool. Now that is a big old foot. Look at this. It's huge, isn't it? Look at the size of my hand compared to that. Absolutely colossal. This cow's actually about 14 years old. So, um, I bet I just keep going and get her done. Tulsa, California. I've been to Tulsa. I was in Tulsa last year. Still nice and straight. Uh, nah, you can't in a minute. This is Graham. Graham, come here. This is the lesser Graham. Look how wee his head is. Uh, like or how big my head is. Uh, <laughs> For those of you who don't speak Graham, I've got a bit of a peanut head on me, is what he said. <laughs> How nice is Craig's t-shirt by the way? They're cool aren't they? Be seen with lime green it says. You know in the last video how I said it gets really noisy and that's why I put music on. Well, there's a tractor coming through with a straw chopper. So, prepare for the noise. I'll get Graham to bring you a little bit closer to see this cow's foot. Um, yeah, it's quite bad, so. Yep. How do you turn this around? Oh, I see it. so that everybody can see without If you move it too much the signal will go funny Oh uh, right Folks, oh, somebody saying please come to New Zealand Tomorrow? <laughs> it's going to say come to Montana Come further this way a wee bit if somebody says it's pixely. Somebody gave you a tenner. I look pixely.
Poor signal, Graham. Folk can't see. Quite a lot of comments coming on. Lost the clear picture. So this is actually a problem. This is actually a problem that's been going on for a number of months with this car. That's why I thought it was so huge when we started. I'll, uh, I'll let this dry a little bit and then I'll get Craig to put a bandage on when he gets back. But this is completely dry. I just mean let the, the iodine soak in a little bit. Right, foot number two. Somebody's asking, can you tell them what video we were using the green screen in? The magic video. Oh. Graham's chuckling away here. That, that looks, looks like my wife's feet. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Samantha. Hello, Graham number two. People are saying hello to you. It's the first hello I've ever had, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a wee bit blurry again, maybe. Aye, no clear again. Here's somebody asking you've ever considered use a dentist drill for the top outer wall home. It definitely could do, but to be honest, it works the way we do it. And if we added another component into our toolbox, it'd be another thing to clean, another thing to break, another thing to take time up doing. So yeah, I actually have considered like dentist drills and um, dremels and things, but never actually used them. This is just a little white line problem. That block is only really going on to make sure it doesn't get any worse. Oh, it's nice and quiet now, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, you can break the silence and ruin everything and like just so quickly. Watch. Craig? Yep. There you go, see? Ruined it. Craig? <laughs> He's staying quiet now. White line. Uh, white line one, please. So this is just dirt. Um, the only reason I would get rid of that is for you guys at home, and I'm not going to do that. I'm really sorry. OK, budge you back a bit, Graham. The reason I took you guys off your little pedal still up behind us and showed you these feet was because I knew they would take quite a while to trim. So it hasn't surprised me at all. I'm just going to reduce the height of this. Look how tough these feet are. These cows are still inside. Here in Scotland, the rain has just been horrendous and completely unrelenting. So they should be outside by now, but unfortunately, they're not. Do you want to wrap this foot, please, Craig? Hmm? Oh, no, it's hard. Yeah. Yep. Uh, just say, Craig, coffee, please. White and two. Actually, no. Not two just now. Graham is on a diet. You lot keep commenting on me needing to fight the fat, and to be fair, you're right. I was feeling a bit sluggish. So I've been in the gym for the last three months and try to diet this week. It's going well, isn't it, Graham? Huh? 
<laughs> that wasn't maybe Tanya Bear Potter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Graham, I'll lay off, you know. I'm going to turn you around and put you back up there because you were clearer, your, your video was clearer up there. Just wanted to say good morning to Washington DC. Well, good morning to you as well. Hello in Australia. Hey Johnny. No, we're not kidding. <laughs> Come to Montana. I was looking up Montana the last day actually. Rodeos and things out there, aren't there? Are you cold? Um, we're not cold now. It is cold here, but um, because we're working fairly, fairly quickly. It's, uh, it's not too cold. There are two Highland cows at the farm where I keep the horse. How often should they get their feet done? Uh, Highland cows should look after their feet fairly well by themselves, to be fair. But um, if they're getting long or unbalanced, then they need trimmed. Simple as that. Good morning from South Africa. James Cosgrove. Just got here. Look serious. Craig, they say you look serious. Sorry, guys. Well, Give him blue steel. Give him blue steel. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay, this cow is just about finished, so I'm gonna put you guys back up here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Point, point you down a little bit. Hello from Japan. Craig is a rock star. What? <laughs> Thank you. Right, hopefully we'll speed up a little more now. Wow, almost 1,500 of you, 1,500 of you guys watching.
Sorry, I hope you've been uh, chatting amongst yourselves. So we are trimming about 80 cows here today. It is five to 10 and we're hoping to be finished in about two hours time. We've done about 35. How many have we done? Five. Ah, bang on 35. Try again. Come on, no, no, no. And that's what Graham meant by things could go wrong. She wasn't overly keen, was she? 1,773 people watching and only 554 oh. likes. There's nothing like a hint, is there? <laughs> So I usually cut these uh, lives off fairly quickly. So I'm going to try to, what's the word? I'm going to try and keep it on for an hour. So we've got about 31 minutes left. Let's see which one of you guys can make it all the way through. San Antonio, Texas, that would be cool, wouldn't it? I'd love to go there. Uh, can you make black creaky boy back? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, hit the like button and share the like. Aw, oh, cheers, Katie Dell. Sorry, your, your name disappeared really quickly. Uh, wow, finally live. Yes, AC. You are. Hey, Christopher Johnson. Hello, McDob. McDob69. Uh, Caspian, but YouTube. Lots of love. From Rhode Island, thank you for the super chat. That's what it's called, a super chat. But don't send me super chats just now because I'll miss them and then I'll feel really guilty that I didn't read them out. Uh, is that a challenge? What kind of challenge? Uh, I'm watching you from Japan. When I disappear off screen, by the way, I'm not just drinking coffee down there, I'm trimming the front feet.
Some of them are more rowdy than others. Come on. Time is in Scotland. It is 33. No, it, no, it's 10 o'clock exactly. 10 o'clock exactly. Hi, Julie Harris. Close the live chat and you will see the like button. Ah, okay. I didn't know you had to do that. I'm absolutely roasting. Uh, we'd love if you'd come to Kansas. I think I'd love if I came to Kansas too. Hoof TP merch, lilac hoof TP merch actually. I don't usually wear the lilac one, but I like it. Right, quick questions, quick, quick. 3 p.m. here in Bangladesh, 7 p.m. in Sydney. Hit that like button, guys. It really, really helps. Oh, it does, Katie, you're right. Hi, Scott. What temperature is it? It's about, I think it's six degrees centigrade. So I think that's like, I think that's about 44 degrees, somewhere around there. Uh, here in Montana, here in Seattle, 2 a.m. What are you doing up at this time, regular? Uh, 4 a.m. in Austin. My insomnia is finally paying off. <laughs> There's one upside, Danny. Sometimes when they go a bit haywire, they get their feet tangled in the belly band, so we have to wait a second for them to untangle themselves. And sometimes they don't, so we actually just let them out if their feet, if she's not lame and their feet aren't overgrown at all. That cow has winding herself up so much. I don't know if you'll still get signal here, but look, this is what's happening. She's got her stuck around there. I can put you down here. Ah! Oh, she's got one leg over.
when you see that, they can get really, really upset, yeah. Those cows, like, they're scared of the noise and the new things happening. So sometimes they get themselves in a bind and you just gotta try and calm the situation down and take a little set, take a little side, take a little second. She did panic, you're exactly right. So because she got herself in so much of a pickle, we'll actually let this cow go before we open the back door and let the next one in. That way she doesn't reverse over the cow behind her and cause it even more strife, grief, trouble, problems, whatever. We hit a little wall there of uh, cows who didn't want to play ball, didn't we? Here's a bad one, I'll show you in a second. Oh no, hey, whoa, how did I turn it around? Oh, you've broken it. Look at that horrible picture. Ah, thank you, babe. That's a good picture, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sal. You've got some wear all babe. Let's see how much you guys can see of this. You need to focus this sometimes, right? Eh? No. No, you look so bloody. It's a really sore one. So this is a big sole ulcer. It's completely covered in digital dermatitis. I'm gonna put this over that right now. Right, so we'll have to deal, we're trying to get a block on this foot because there's a problem here. And that kind of worries me. We can definitely get a block onto this, but I don't want it to cause her any pain whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, let's have at it. I'm just gonna ensure that this white line problem here comes to nothing, which doesn't. And Craig is gonna grab us a large wooden block, because Craig is fantastic. Isn't it weird how I talk about them nice just for the lies? Uh, yeah, I've so, never heard yeah, of Yeah, but don't you. say anything. Oh, right, so don't, tell the, don't tell the people. No, that, I'll no. Know. make out like it's normal. Yeah. Right. So just flatten this off. Oh, the fantastic Craig has got the block ready. Why are you talking to me nicely, Graham? I always talk to you nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, people.
I don't want that to catch fire. Look at that. Lovely. Just the, all you have to do is hold these blocks for a few seconds and then that same stuck in place. This isn't dry though, look, it's still tacky. But look, as I actually move it, you'll see it getting harder. Look. That sounded bad, didn't it? <laughs> I would need to comment to see if I'm Right, see, look, it's almost solid now. Okay. So, how's the signal, folks? Hopefully, half decent. So, we're just going to pair away this part of our foot. Here. That's what the old folks used to say. They'd be hoof pairing because they'd be trying to make sure that it was a pair of identical feet. So they used to call it hoof pairing. Some people still do. They call it hoof turning. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right, so all of this needs to go. Somebody says it's bloody. Mm, oh, and then somebody says it's fine for them. Just dry not to. Yeah. So you can definitely see the foot. Okay. Again, really, really tough hoof horn. Isn't it funny that you're literally sitting on your couches right now, or in your bed probably, watching this, and I'm literally covered in cow excrement, trimming away and talking to you. Like, how <laughs> does that happen? Bloody view, still bloody. I'm sorry folks, I'm sorry folks, hopefully it gets a little bit better soon. If I tap the screen on the focus, will it? Some folks it needs to focus. Nah. Unfortunately, that's the limitations of being on farm, doing a live, which is why I don't do them all that often. Okay, so... Here's how we're looking now, folks. Just look at the mess of that. How sore must that be? So because she has dermatitis on it, oh, we've actually got some uh, antibiotic spray here from the farmer, so we'll use that. And Craig will grab us a magical paste bandage. That is a sore one, isn't it? As you can see, that's just rock hard now. Somebody just said, kiss it there, but... Uh, hmm. There we go. I'm sorry it's blurry if I try to go closer. I just want you to see the best thing possible. But hey, is that spray more effective than the iodine? For that it is, because um, it will kill the bacterial infection, which I kept calling the virus the other day for some reason. Um, but yeah, it will kill the digital dermatitis better. Uh, iodine is really good at killing the outer layers of the, the dermis, but that stuff will get right into the core of it. And uh, Craig's just wrapping it with magical paste make sure it goes completely away. Cow with a sore foot and I'm crying here. Toothache. Toothache is not good though. If anybody knows uh, me fairly well and follows my journey, then um, toothache's bad. So people said, oh, have you been to Turkey and I had your teeth done? So I've had my teeth fixed. Uh, not like turkey teeth, like not away and got like a massive big thing. I had like a million chips all over my teeth from crashing mountain bikes and cars and things like that. So all I did was get them fixed. Um, have you ever had to put a block on each side? Uh, so sometimes if a cow over wears her foot or more often bulls actually, if a bull over wears his feet, then we'll put blocks on both sides because there's no specific problem. His, the soles of his feet are too thin. So we bulk them up and thicken them up by putting a uh, block on both and that way he doesn't continue to wear his he doesn't continue to wear his feet uh, and they get better yeah make some more ACAP shirts I love the ACAP stuff all my family wear the ACAP stuff all the time I had to stop because a lot of folk in America thought it said ACAB 
which is all cops are something else. Look at that. I thought there was something wrong with the camera, but it's great. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. Keep trimming while you're Yeah, talking. yeah. I'm not, um, I'm not having the cow in the crush here on Julie, by the way. I'm waiting on everything drying and setting completely rock hard. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, so this foot's got a major, major issue as well. Graham, do you want to grab this camera? So I'm not sure how clearly you can see this foot. Can you see it clearly, Graham? I think. Uh, I think. <laughs> I will remove this blue roller in a second. You've got a huge ulcer underneath that, but you also have the starch of an ulcer here. So if we put a block on here, guess what's going to happen? If I put a block on this foot, which nearly had an ulcer, what do you think will happen? Answer me in the comments right now, and I'll tell you the answer in two seconds. Oh no! Signal no good. Poker saying it's not very clear again, Graham. In Scotland, we're only just getting TV here, so that's why the signal is so poor. Basically, I'm using half a horn, a horn shoe, a horseshoe block here. And I'm going to put it on the outer claw because if we put a normal block on the outer claw, she'll end up with a sole ulcer. Sorry, I need to hold it in place for a little minute because it's bent and I need that bend to be stuck in place so it doesn't unbend, if that makes sense. Thank you. 
tell you what, I'll finish this trim very, very quickly and then I'll show you guys what's happening, exactly what's happening. So she's got a really bad soul ulcer here guys um she's got a tyloma which is a big growth in between her feet a little bit of a white line problem and on the other side that big problem as well so yeah she's not in great shape i'm gonna try to move you over to see if i can show you properly but the signal might go don't don't kill me for it There's what's going on there. But this foot had a problem in here, which is why we can't put a block on there, because if we do, it will end up with a sole ulcer as well. I know it's a little bit blurry, guys. Sorry. So we're just gonna treat that. It's not got dermatitis on it, so we're just gonna treat it with iodine, and we're gonna spray up in between our feet. Then the Craig. The Craig. The Craig is going to wrap it. Okay, this cow should be out here in a wee second. So, yeah, you can see she's got this horseshoe block on here, putting all of the weight onto the outside of her foot. And that way, it won't hurt the interior part of her foot, but will take the weight away from that sore outer claw. Hopefully. Hopefully, I have faith. I have faith. People keep saying Craigie boy with exclamation marks. I think it means they don't want you here. It's fair enough. I'm here, it's just it's his show, you know. His show. It's not a show, is it? Kind of. You think? There's a lot of drama, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go.
You fell, you've fallen. I didn't know you'd fallen, I'm sorry. Did you all think that like, did you all think our world had to like, I don't know, messed up? There you go. There we go, better. I need to speed up again. I took my jumper off and now I'm freezing because it's raining outside. Craig's away in a tea break or something, I think. That's where he's disappeared to. Half past ten, it must be nearly coffee time. I did try to ask Mrs. HJP to bring a coffee along, but she's not, uh, she's not arrived. Where's my tea, says Art the Alexander. Probably still in the kettle. Uh, of course he did. Did he just say tea break? Well, Guernsey? Question mark. Craig Boy sitting on the job. Craig, they all thought he disappeared. Craig was actually changing over the cows. Yeah, yeah we have many, many groups here. Yeah, lots of different groups of cows here. We need to make sure we don't mix any of them up. Uh, rain warning for D&G, that's pretty much every single day. E8, EF8. Oh. I would go for like F2 though. F2.
if any of you guys been watching from the start, I highly doubt it. Uh, a jumper is a sweater for those asking. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I should have explained that. Uh, hi from County Durham. Hello. It's 2.30 here in SoCal. Uh, hi there. Lo loves you, Graham. Oh, thank you. That's nice. Uh, I have, I have, I have. Eye protection. If something's come towards my eyes, I just close them quickly. Sorry, I shouldn't joke about that, should I? I keep it on the side though so that it doesn't get dirty so when I need it, it's nice and clean. Yeah, you should see Graham when he trims sometimes, he's like... So, <laughs> how much did that look like he was doing something else? Do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I get intrusive thoughts. <laughs> Right, just in case you guys are wondering where I've went, I'm gonna go make coffee and tea. See you soon. We should get on quite a bit quicker now that Craig's gone, so uh, try to keep up. You get her, but two cows try to get through here at the same time. The unfortunate thing about Craig going to make the coffee is you've just realised now that actually we get slower when he's not here. He nearly heard that.
Next cow seems a bit crazy. So Craig smokes, which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably the most annoying person ever to smoke around when you're Craig, anyway. Everyone else is fine. Um, and he thinks that I don't know he's smoking over there right now, but I do, because I can smell it, because it stinks. So as soon as he appears back on screen, can everybody tell him that it's the most filthy habit in the world, please? just had a thought, nobody mentioned it just now, so that when he first looks at the, what's it called, when he first looks at the screen, he doesn't know you're all going to say it, and then when he starts speaking to you, you can all tell him how filthy the habit smoking is and that he needs to stop, okay? So, not a word until you appear, until you appear, until he appears. Coffees are here. Have a, wee, have a wee chat. Read some of the things. I try, but I can't keep up. I'm sure you'll keep up. What are they saying? Just keep reading. I can read. What's it say? It says some of them more smoking. Ah, that's a, a filthy habit. Yeah. Craig, that's a filthy habit. Isn't that strange? That is strange. Funny how I didn't really want anybody knowing. And, you know, oh, you smoked over there and I could smell it. No, you couldn't. Eh? So how did I know you were smoking? Because I was away making coffee. And, you and know now he's, got, he's got a mouthful of chewing gum right now and thinks that that'll help. Thank you, people. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Craig, there's still a couple of messages for you. Do you want to read them? Yeah. Hey, can you tell them why I get on at you though? I know you got on at me because you want me to stop. But, but why do you want you to stop? Because it's a filthy habit, like no. what we're saying. Why do I care if you stop? Because it's my health. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not that easy. If anyone out there does smoke, you will know how hard it is. Here you go. Well, let us have a little coffee. Well, you have a lot of people. I'm so dirty. That's coffee again. What? Okay, so we're gonna have coffee and then we'll um that Range Rover don't need a smoke around it. What? Um Yeah, we'll have coffee and then uh, we'll let this cow go and then we'll switch you guys off. We'll have a little chat, but don't worry, I'm just gonna get my coffee and now in typical Scottish fashion I took my jumper off a few minutes ago and now I'm absolutely frozen. Hold that thought. Worse than the smell of coffee or cow shit. Uh, does cow shit smell? Get used to it. You get used to it. Can you hear the rain? We were worried earlier because it, it wasn't raining and we thought there's going to be an apocalypse or something. But normal service has resumed. Boys. How's it going, Kay? Yup, here the rain is crazy loud right now. Hello in Oregon and the Philippines. You guys got your hands full. Yeah, we've got like another, about another 28 or 29 cows to do, I think. We've done probably nearly 50. Uh, nearly 50 cows. So yeah, you guys have been with me for most of it. Wow, an hour and 15 minutes. Sick of everything, take. I'm not reading the next bit. Y'all awesome. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you very much for that. 
Yeah, we are. Oh, that's lovely and warm, look. Here you go. Everybody has got one of these cups. Like, almost everybody, because we've sold tens of thousands of them now. So if you want one, go to thehoofgp.com. There's, like, loads of them. Hi, Dee. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Juan. Saludo desde Puerto Rico. Oh, I think that means you live in Puerto Rico. That's just a guess. Ah, hey, Uncle Bear. It's good to see you in the live feed. So, yeah. Uh, that feet sticking out look like the Wizard of Oz house. I'm not sure which one you mean. London, Canada. I didn't know there was London in Canada. No, I did. I did. Craigie Boy was a Gervin. Craigie Boy was the Gervin Young team. Yeah, YGT. EF photography. EF photography, I'm guessing you know Craig from a past life. Is that right, Craig? <laughs> Somebody must know you. They must do. Did you catch a name? Uh, EF photography. Hello in Switzerland. Hi. Uh, I'm a smoker from Cape Town. Don't get me wrong, if you guys smoke, don't worry, you can keep smoking, it's fine. It's just Craig that I want to stop. Like I said, it's not as simple as just stopping. I'd love to stop. In fact, see when I come back from a holiday, me and my wife have got plans to, for me anyway, to go in for a... Uh, that for smell of slurry is getting really strong. It's like smell. We're going to get hypnotised basically to stop smoking, so it's not that I want to, it's just hard to stop. I feel bad because he's actually upset that I mentioned it, I think. Oh, I'm pretty annoyed with uh, him for telling you, he's like... Who's yeah. the other guy? The other, who's that other guy? Graham, come and speak to them. Right, can you read out some of the comments, Graham? Come on. Uh, well, it's a ear when we talk like normal, isn't it? Aye. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe they're coming in too quick for me. Very sim. No, I mean, now again, you had it for me. Come and see my beautiful island. No glue. Louder. Uh, yeah, read that one quickly. Just say no to Craig, yints ye understood why you smoke is easy after quit. So if anybody can translate what he just said, like hit us up, because we could really do with a good translator for him. I didn't even understand what he said. <laughs> <laughs> what did the auntie cow say to the uncle cow? Oh, what did the auntie cow say to the Craigie boy? You're so utterly cute. Ah, oh, <laughs> I uh, love your video. Hi from Germany, uh, Greece. Try saying pur purple. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you made me laugh. Pur purple burglar. Purple burglar. There you go. Come on, Graham. Say pur purple burglar for everybody. Nice and loud. Purple burglar. Ah, oh, you can say it, no problem. Uh, Craig, Craig, my boy, just wean yourself off. It's easier than you think. People are being supportive, Craig. Nice to get a better squat. Yep. Oh, anyway guys, this rain is starting to really depress us here. Um, we'll let you get away because I know you're all, like I feel really bad because I've mentioned the cups and getting them at thehoofgp.com and now I've kept you back and you're all like, Graham, just leave me alone. I want to go to thehoofgp.com and buy myself a mug and you keep talking. So I am really sorry. I'll let you go in a wee second. Uh, we still love Craig. Of course we still love Craig. Uh, how many cows will you do today? We've done 50 so far. We've got just, just under 30 to go. So about 80, but we should be finished for 12 o'clock. Uh, so yeah, we've been going quite slow because of this, because of this live. It does slow us down. Uh, hi Craig from Rhode Island. Hello in Atlanta, Georgia. We were in Atlanta last month. Uh, hello from Indiana. Uh, I'll borrow your word if you can say the word slurry. Slurry. <laughs> slurry. You like that word? Slurry. Slurry, slurry, slurry. Uh, I have a, uh, a lot of people from San Antonio here. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Uh, how's 812 doing, Karen? Well, Karen, that is um, a blast from the past, isn't it? Gracie is probably no longer with us. So she left the farm that she was on with us in great health, looking well, walking well. Uh, went to another farm to rear calves. Um, don't know if she's still there. Uh, that was about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now. Uh, so I'm not sure if she's still there or not. Uh, it's the honest answer. Uh, mad love from Northern Alberta. I know a few hoof trimmers in Alberta. 
Of course I can talk, Tony. Hi, Catherine in Lancaster. I used to live in Lancaster and Hesham Village. I used to run the Royal Hotel in Hesham Village, believe it or not, for two years. Loved it. Uh, love Lancaster as well. Lancaster's a class place. Uh, okay, guys, I am actually going to leave you be because we really, really need to crack on. Uh, I'm really impressed with myself for managing to last one hour and 20 minutes, which, according to my wife, is not possible. I have lasted a long time. One hour, 20 minutes, and one no, 1 hour 21 to be precise. Right, thanks very much for watching guys. We really appreciate all of your hellos and goodbyes and time updates and places that you are in the world and everything else. Okay, catch you later guys. Hope you've all enjoyed the live and hope that the signal wasn't too bad. Craigie boy is waving goodbye in the background. I've got a slight problem. How do you end this? Oh, I've seen it now. Right, bye.